Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're not gonna catch any mice or rats, but instead, I'm gonna show you the best way to trap a big smelly skunk. That's what we got inside this trap, and he's been causing a lot of problems. Soon we're gonna let him go, but first I'm gonna share the story of how I caught him. If you've watched my channel for a while now, you know I live in a rural area surrounded by wild animals, including skunks. Oftentimes they come and eat the mice or rats we catch in our traps, and I enjoy using the trail cameras to see a mama and baby skunks, or watching when a skunk with a bad attitude takes on a deer. So for the most part, I don't consider a skunk a pest, unless they're killing chickens or coming in one of the buildings. That's what this guy was doing. He was living under my house. A few nights ago, I made a huge mistake. It was raining, so when I went to go take out the garbage, instead of taking it to the dumpster, I left it on the front steps, and this guy came and tore everything apart. That was a huge mess. There was garbage everywhere, including dirty diapers. So I cleaned everything up. I learned my lesson. Never leave the garbage out in the open where animals can tear it apart. I didn't think much of it, but that night I was sound asleep and my wife woke me up. She heard a strange noise. It was right below our house, right below our bed. And it sounded like this. We go, what is that noise? It was really loud and it kept going for hours. I had no idea some animal was under our house just making a racket. So I set up the trail camera below our house to see what that noise was, and here's what I saw. So the next morning I reviewed the motion camera footage and I went under the house and got this, a jar of Nutella that was in the garbage. He wanted the chocolate would stick his head in there, get stuck, and start banging it everywhere. Then he'd get free and go back for more chocolate. Hour after hour he made so much noise. So I knew I had to trap this skunk and relocate him, but that can be pretty tricky business. The last time I did that I got sprayed. But that's because I hung around when I opened the trap. I wanted to get a good thumbnail photo for the video which I did, but it was pretty smelly. So I decided instead to use a live catch trap as a door that goes up, they go inside, step on the lever, it closes, and this is solid white plastic. So the skunk can't see me in there. He's pretty calm and he hasn't sprayed. I think he's right about here if you see the shadow. So I'll show you how I caught the skunk right on my porch. I used chicken as bait and it worked perfectly. Now I just had to wait for a stinky skunk. Okay, now that I caught him, I'm gonna go ahead and release him and not get sprayed this time. This could take a while, so I'm just gonna leave him alone, come back in like 10 minutes and see if he left. It's been 25 minutes and he's not coming out. I'm gonna tip the back of the trap up and see if that will cause him to slide out. Hopefully I don't get sprayed. There he's coming out. Very calmly just wandering off. Goodbye, you've caused a lot of problems. Well, that skunk release turned out much better than the last time I did it. 
I didn't get sprayed at all. That's a really good trap. If you want to buy it on Amazon, it's pretty expensive. It costs $99, but if you have an ongoing skunk problem and you don't want to get sprayed, it's a good option. Now I'm really excited about next week's video. I recreated a very rare and crazy mousetrap based off a patent from 1869. It has a spring-loaded double harpoon that comes shooting out a wooden mouse's eyes. I'll show you step-by-step step how I made the trap and then we'll test it out in the barn on wild mice. That video is going to be available next Monday at noon Pacific time, so make sure you check it out. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider clicking the button right here. I've posted over 550 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, foals and gophers, and skunks, stay tuned.